clearing up your mind. Let's face it, every person is known to make bad decisions every once in a while. Throughout history, no single human being is born incapable of making mistakes. You may notice yourself creating poor decisions on a regular basis, or you may have made a single terrible mistake recently. Otherwise, you wouldn't be reading this book. Training your mind to think straight and make all the right decisions in the near future is no easy task. Biologically, humans are designed to be more than capable of mistakes, poor decision-making, and general irrationality. This is because the human mind is given the freedom of choice, the freedom to deviate from natural instincts. This sentence is ultimately responsible for people making bad decisions. But don't forget that this freedom may also be used to propel yourself towards your greatest ambitions. This book may not guarantee living a perfect life, but you should be able to learn how to train your mind and willpower to always go for the right decisions. Step 1. Stop. Why? Living in today's world, it is easy for anyone's mind to be caught in a blur. Problems at work, making ends meet, relationship problems, and keeping up with other important events can quickly clutter up your mind with stress and needless worry. Stress itself is a major factor that will be mentioned a few times throughout this book. But before you worry about dealing with stress, you need to stop and take the time to clear your mind of absolutely everything. How? Of course, this step can wait if you're in the middle of something extremely important. But it is crucial for you to stop and clear your mind as early as you can. Once you're done with today's work and other arrangements, go to a quiet place where you can relax and take a load off. Close your eyes, breathe deeply, and prevent any form of uneasy thought from entering your mind. Take note that this is different from complete meditation. The best way to describe this step is to simply drop everything you have in your hand. You can't expect to start undertaking a life-changing goal with your hands full. For the next few hours, you need to prevent yourself from doing anything related to your work and other stressful areas of your life. To help you do this, move on to the next step. Step 2. Clean up. Why? You can't just simply prevent any form of thought from entering your mind, particularly the stressful ones. This is why you need your mind to engage in a menial and repetitive activity to keep yourself occupied. Cleaning up is a great way to do something productive while stimulating the flow of positive thoughts without being stressful. And believe it or not, going home to a messy place can increase excessive stress and reduce your ability to cope with it. How? Go ahead and start with the largest room in your place. If your time is quite limited, then cleaning only your place of productivity at home should suffice. This could be your study, library, bedroom, or simply your work desk. You will definitely need these areas tidy and functional later on. You may accept the help of anyone else in the house, but you should not actively seek it. This is because you need the activity to be repetitive and somewhat dull. However, if most rooms in your place are often cleaned by you or someone else, you should at least get something organized. There is bound to be at least one area in your home that isn't particularly organized or tidy. You should also take note of certain things in your house that require attention, specifically repairs. Step 3. Take a bath. Why? Washing up comes naturally after a cleaning activity, but this time you should take a full, relaxing bath. Take note that this will also help relax your body and clear up your mind. Taking a warm bath will also stimulate blood circulation and improve your skin. 